Let's see this iron level now bronze level mid laner actually able to do damage. He's gonna put a stun down. He's gonna go in. He's gonna. Is he gonna get this the other third auto to get him down? The Nat comes Ooh. down. Gonna be first blood over to Echo on the socket of Uchiha on the side of natural selection. Sivir again, just in the minion. Oh, looking to fight a no. What kind of damage are you gonna be able to find with the center behind you healing? Is it gonna be enough? Yes, it is. Boomerang Blade is able to pick up the Orion and gets a huge shutdown. Engage going on here. Ult gonna be used. Stuff oh. gonna come through from the pike. Absolutely delete the Caitlyn from the map. You are not allowed to play this game. Didn't so have to do him like the that. Side. How much damage is this second to be able to soak up? Absolutely oh. huge. Able to dodge out from the ultimate as well. Braum using his ultimate to be able to catch up. And this looks like it was an absolute turn and oh. playing bait. Sakato oh. is going the ultimate and shutdown goes over to the set from the side of natural selection. You gotta imagine this is not a dragon going over that. I think that all fits them solar there, and I really yeah. want to see that dude. Oh, but the Mordekaiser actually might be caught out here by the Jin. The W is going to be able to land, but that is going to be a lot of damage coming out. Oh my goodness, Cassidy almost going to fall. Lulu going to be able to use the ultimate to keep him alive. Janna coming in as well, coming clutch for her team. So many deaths coming through, but that is going to be advantage over here to Fnatic. Are they going to be able to find the advantage? No, Shockwave is going to whiff from the Orianna, and it looks like Jin might be able to get away, but uh, Amuma is here. Maokai trying to dissuade the gauge with a huge critical oh, from no, Caitlyn. That is a lot of damage, but now Mordekaiser is going to fall. Actually getting caught out here from the Jin, and the Maokai Still has a full health, but the Caitlyn might actually not be able to have the damage. Cat, uh, coming in from behind. Trying to come back into this fight. Might be able to, but Jin does so much damage onto the Caitlyn. That's going to be the net. And oh, Cassidy it coming in huge. The is he going to be able to get the order? Yes, he's going to be able to up. Two shutdowns coming on over to her. Absolutely huge. One. That's, yeah, that's exactly Oh, Zaya with the clean sidesteps, though, has bought some time for Fiddlesticks to come in, who does have ultimate. Oh, gonna be able to use it. It's gonna go in, lots of bombs, and that's gonna be a lot of damage. And oh. that will be Zaya picking up a double kill. So, just as you were saying, Zaya needs these kills to come in thick and fast. They're coming to her. It's almost like she's got her mouth wide open, and here comes the choo choo train, because the feeding is beginning. It's gonna go in. Morgana actually might have got caught out a little bit. The fear was so good coming out of the Fiddlesticks. And that means the binding's Shen. gonna land onto the Zion. How much damage is gonna come through? Here comes Shin, but the ultimate does come in clutch from the Zillion. Able to get it in, he's able to do it, but here comes the Galio doing such amazing work for his team. Staying alive and doing the great things, and Jax has come in. Here comes a janitor for the cleanup kill. Lucian, you're not gonna be able to do anything there, but actually still wants to go in. Ultimate having to be popped, but no. Jax is fine, baby, he's fine. But mm -hmm. do Oh no, Zillion's gonna get deleted, but ultimate will be available. That's gonna be the Fiddlesticks actually ulting over. Galio coming in, clutch, so that's actually a bait. Good job, Zillion. Didn't think you had it in you. Uh, it's, it's, it's like, oh. Shen oh no, here comes Shin trying to teleport in. Jax unable to get the kill, but we'll be able to pick it up eventually, but that's gonna be the Shin coming in as well. But that will be Lucian falling low. Flash forward used by multiple members here. Counter-Strike not gonna be able to land, but that will be just a one for one trade. No, sorry, one for two, because Morgana fell as well. Oh my goodness, there's so much damage onto the Zyra. Caitlyn able to land the crits, will be able to pick it up, and the Vigar Cage is going to lock down too. That's going to be more damage onto the Kaisa, who will use her ultimate, but is going to be shut down by the Warg. And, oh no, I think you're right. They should have just conceded the dragon there. Now Camille wants to go in, able to catch up the Nunu. Shield is going to be on her. She's going to be able to take a lot of damage. That's so much. Return onto the Nunu. She is incredibly fed, and Orin trying to catch out and do a little bit of damage. Is able to pick up the Morgana, but will fall to the rest of the team from BSB. And that will be a dragon pickup for their side here. Oh, who's going to be caught out here? It's going to be flash forward from the Zyra. We'll be able to get her ultimate off. There's going to be a lot of damage coming out. Ornhorn coming in as well, getting the knock up onto the Vigar. We'll be able to leave it off the map, and that's going to be Kaisa going in onto the Camille. Not right. get engaged on by the Not get engaged on by the Oh, but this is five men over. They're doing exactly what you told them not to. That's going to be uh, no. ultimate coming out. Gargoyle Stone Plate is going to be used as well, but that's going to be Kaisa picking with the first kill. Zyra ultimate come out. Camille not able to find the damage. That's going to be knock up. And Shabbat is actually here. That was so much damage. Great Wombo combo coming out. Double kill picked up for the Orn, and that's going to be the execution coming out from the Kaisa with that Akathian Rain. 
the weak and the strong sides of the game. But that's going to be Nunu taking a lot of damage. Going to have to use some ability to be able to get away from that. Warwick trying to go in, but he doesn't have his team with him. Camille is here, but the Ignite is burning, and what a massive shield onto the Kaisa using the... Oh, oh no! Oh, no! The triple kill coming out! That's going to be the quadra kill picked up! Are we going to be able to see anything else coming through? That's going to be the Morgana landing the binding. Kaisa wants it badly. The flash forward coming through hey, is going to be able to use... Hey, no, hey, no, the... the no! 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 Donovan Botlane is going to miss, but that's going to be flash forward. Great shockwave, but that's going to be flash out from the Ari, who does not have the ultimate available. Used most of that to find more damage. There's going to be a lot of damage going on to Ari as well, and she's going to fall. Shin teleport and ultimate is not going to be enough to keep his mid laner alive. And still, looks like Shin might have been caught out too much. There's going to be a flash forward coming in from the Rakan here. Does is able to land the knockup, but there is just not enough damage. Skarner doesn't have it, but Orion is still falling low. The auto attacks from the Rakan might be able to finish it up. That is going to be shut down coming over to uh, the Skarner. And great flash forward from the Zaya might be able to pick up the uh, Amumu here and get another shutdown for himself. Yes, Obama, bro, able to come up with that clean kill. And that is the power of Zaya. Even low, it's going to be ultimate use as well. Feather recall not going to lock down, but going to walk face forward into the thresh hook. So unfortunate. We're here to the bot side. Might be caught up by the Oriana. Is sitting on a control ward. That's going to be charm landing onto the Oriana. Is going to be a lot of damage. Will the Rakan be able to make her way over? Yes, he is. That's going to be a shockwave already used, so no ultimate available. Blast cone, so intelligently used by the Oriana here. And that means Zaya is caught out already down to one fourth HP. And the rest of the team is here. Bullet time in a corridor. That's a lot of damage. And that's going to be Skarner being able to uh, have to walk in away, but ultimate is going to be used. But I don't know if you're going to be able to find the damage. Charms lands directly after. But still, the damage is too much. Essence Reaver already onto this misfortune means she does an incredible amount of damage, and that is so juicy. I would love to see a double tap landing onto any one of those enemies. That would be an easy double kill. Consistently and constantly ballooning this lead and ramping up at a great pace. It's going to be a great hook laying on Desire, who will be instantly deleted. But that's going to be Skarner pulling in a member of the goon squad here. Double kill picked up here for the side of the Misfortune. So much chaos. And that looks like it will be a triple kill going over to the Misfortune. So well played. Everybody collapsed around her and made, that sh and made sure that she could not die. And so she just free fire onto the back line. Great team play coming here from the side of the goon squad. But that's just going to be a lot of damage going on in the Drake now. Uh, Skarner has made his way over to the wall. He's going to be able to come up with a steal. No, Amumu is able to secure it with this smite, but still, that's a lot of damage. Great shockwave coming right here from Oriana, able to land on three targets. Wow, fantastic team fight, and that is going to be everybody from Wisdom falling. Uh, Olaf will give chase to the Ari, who's the only member left. Is going to flash forward with the ultimate, basically taking the charm to the face, and that is going to be an effective chase down. Ace here for Goon Squad. Rakan is going to see the Oriana. Might be able to catch her out. Flash going to have to be used from the Oriana in order to get it away. Blast Cone is available. Shin teleport ultimate used in order to try and catch this Oriana. Will successfully do so. Quickness is able to land, but bullet time coming in into another corridor. Great use of that ultimate. It's going to be Rakan falling already. And Zaya has fallen shortly after. This is now a 4v3. The, or the Ari is going to try and land her Qs. That's going to be a shockwave onto the Skarner, who will have a lot of damage. Barely missing onto the uh, charm, but flash forward from the Ari falling down of the knight as well is going to be able to pick up another kill, but still, four members down here from the side of Team Wisdom. Olaf here able to catch out the Shin. That's going to have to be taunt used defensively to get away. Ultimate already popped here from the Olaf trying to chase down two members. W from the Shin is going to block a little bit of the auto attacks, but Reckless Swing will still be able to pick up the kill. Now Olaf trying to 1v4. He might be able to do it. Quickness going to come out here. Bullet time coming in as well. Landing on the multiple members. That's going to be the uh, Skarner shut down as well. And Olaf able to successfully pull off the 1v4. His team came in slowly behind him. And that looks like it's going to be a game winning push here. Heal used from the Misfortune. Wanting to get a little bit of extra movement speed. Amumu is making his way forward as well. The target is the Nexus turrets. Bandit's going to be used aggressively to get a little bit closer to these turrets. Zaya does not have the damage. Ultimately going to have to be used early. Might not be able to catch out anyone. Is going to be able to catch three members with the feather recall on the stun. But still, that is too many members from the Goon Squad. This is going to be an easy game pickup. The Nexus will fall and Goon Squad able to take an easy game one victory here in the ESDL Week 4 matchup.